everybody from Barbara. Today we are going to prepare something ketogenic and super fun. We are going to prepare cheese lollipops. I've seen them a few weeks ago at a wedding and they remind me that they are really easy to do and very very delicious. Actually when President Obama visited Italy they offered him some of these lollipops so they can be used even on special occasions. It could be a one ingredient recipe because it's enough to have good cheese but we will do them with special flavors so they will be special keto lollipops. Let's go together to the kitchen. As I told you, to prepare these cheesy lollipops you will only need good parmesan, but to give them some special flavor today we will add something, like this rosemary. In the bottle you can see that I use dried rosemary and not the fresh one, because it will give a delicious taste and it will be easy to eat. Fresh rosemary is delicious too but the leaves are very difficult to chew. For the same reason we will use also dried oregano and powdered garlic. As we want to make lollipops we will need the sticks, but don't worry because normal skewers ones will be perfect and really easy to find in any supermarket. Today I will prepare 6 lollipops, 2 for every flavor. To give a perfect round shape a cutter will be a good help, but it is not necessary, so don't worry if you don't have it, because you can shape your lollipops also by hand. Let's start by grating our cheese, because freshly grated parmesan tastes so much better and it is even healthier because you can be sure that nothing else has been added. As all good quality cured cheese, it is completely lactose free, so it contains zero carbs, but about 44% of fat, making it a super ketogenic ingredient, really LCHF, low carbs, a high fat. This is a quite expensive cheese, so be sure that you are not wasting any of it by cleaning your blender very carefully, but also by freezing it. I usually buy parmesan when it is on offer and I keep it already grated in glass container into my freezer. It is better to freeze it already grated because big pieces tend to absorb humidity. We will prepare our lollipops directly on the oven tray, because they need as much space as possible, so don't forget to cover your tray with parchment paper, because melted cheese, as you know, is always very sticky. Another important tip is to add the parmesan at the flat end of the stick. In this way you will hold the lollipop from the pointy side and the thin cheese will not break. For the same reason the wood should cross the entire lollipop till the top end, exactly like you see in the video.
As you know, the three flavors that I choose today are rosemary, oregano and garlic, but this is the perfect moment to personalize your lollipops. Also dried onion, thyme or sage will taste amazing, so have fun with your home cooking and let your creativity run free. You probably already guessed my next tip, that is to alternate the lollipops. Three should be facing you and three should be on the other side, because melted cheese will cover a bigger surface and we don't want our lollipops to stick all together. Now that they are ready, it's time to bake them in our preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius, that are approximately 350 degrees Fahrenheit, until your cheese will be lightly golden brown. It should take less than 10 minutes, but always check your lollipops, because every oven is a little different. Our lollipops are ready, they look amazing and they smell even better, but as you can see they release some fat, so drying it with kitchen paper will be the easy solution. Now you should leave them on your oven tray until they will be completely cold, because only when they are cold and the cheese will be hard again, it will be possible to unstick them from the parchment paper and enjoy this keto snack. If you wonder why I prepare these fun dishes, you should know that we, as a family, started keto on September 2014, yes, six years ago, as a very effective treatment for my daughter's glycogen storage disease type 5. At that time she was 10 and my son was 15 years old, so I really love kids-friendly recipes. Presentation is also important for a long-term ketogenic diet, so I have fun with that too. Today, after the outro, I will bring you with me to that amazing spices shop that you have seen at the beginning of this video. They don't pay me, but I'm always happy to show you beautiful places, so if you will come to Stockholm, you will know where to go. I really hope you like today's super fun recipe and you will consider subscribing to my channel. See you here with a ketogenic video in English every Monday, but also with the same video in Spanish on Wednesday and in Italian on Friday. See you next week and thank you all for being here! The inspiration for today's recipe came during a walk in the famous Swedish department store called Nordiska Kompaniet, NK for short. Here, in the food section, I found this amazing spices shop and reading the well-known Hippocrates sentence let thy food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food, it really touched me. As you know, all my family follow a ketogenic diet as a treatment for my daughter glycogen storage disease type 5 and this way of eating gave us a second chance in life. I know that food cannot cure all diseases, but trying to help our body's recovery by giving it the best possible fuel is totally worth it. Hippocrates has been the father of medicine and a very wise man.